homeless man gets a trespassing charge. Police, they mishandle the whole thing. He ends up losing his legs, okay? Here it is. Hey. Yo. On June 8, 2023, Roberto Alejandro Sanchez Mayan was approached by police for trespassing. Do you see this sign right here? You see it? Can you read oh, what? No, see it. What's that say? Well, that's, that's Do you fast. know what it's? Okay, so you know that you're not supposed to be here. Officer Sarah Gaddis first told Sanchez Mayan he may receive a yeah, ticket before then deciding to arrest him. Yeah. You want to have a ticket? No, you're going to take the ride today. What? I've decided that you're going to actually go to jail today. Oh, I have no, far too many problems with you. Please, no, absolutely not. We're getting all kinds of complaints. <laughs> Can't be doing this. Okay? After a certain amount of any crime, it should be a fault. <laughs> Keeps coming in contact, yeah. doesn't change his ways. What can we do? You're in jail with all this stuff, right? Sanchez Mayan was handcuffed and placed in the back of the police van where there were no seatbelts. During the transport, about 22 minutes into the ride, his body was thrown forward and his head hit a metal partition. The entire ride was not recorded since the surveillance camera was turned on only after Officer Thacker heard a loud crash in the back, according to the lawsuit. After arriving at the county jail, Officer Thacker found Sanchez Mayan unconscious on the floor. He tried unsuccessfully to wake him and then drag Sanchez Mayan out of the van. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Put up the picture, full mass. His legs are gone, okay? You know, there's this thing that officers are known to do. It's called giving you a rough ride. It is a cultural thing. You will not find it listed in a policy. It is a way to punish the individual inside of the van or as some would call it, the paddy wagon. No seat belt, it's nothing but steel. And you hit every bump and you make every turn sharp in order to punish the person in the back. Is sick? Yes, but it is very real in the culture. The federal claim that Mr. Sanchez Mayan, a homeless man who had both legs, amputated after St. Petersburg, Florida cops handcuffed him, set him in the back of their police van with no seat belts before driving recklessly. Sanchez Mayan filed a lawsuit against the city of St. Petersburg and Sarah Gladys and also Michael Thacker. Those are the arresting officers you see, alleging police brutality and civil rights violations. Sanchez Mayan seeks a jury trial. Thacker is accused of excessive force and intentional battery, while Gaddis is accused of false arrest and malicious prosecution. The suit accuses the city of negligent supervision and training as well. On June 8th, 2023, Sanchez Mayan was arrested on a trespassing charge. Police body cam footage shows the officers approached him and asked, what he was doing. Quote, I fell asleep, he says. Officer Gaddis told Sanchez Mayan she would just issue him a ticket before changing her mind and deciding to just take him into custody. The complaint states Officer Thacker arrived soon after in a police van. He handcuffed Sanchez Mayan and also used a metal belly chain, which hindered the use of his arms. Sanchez Mayan's lawyer told CNN, their client had prior arrest for loitering and trespassing. These are crimes of survival. Um, <laughs> these are crimes of survival that warrant some thoughtful intervention to impact the cause and effect cycle that you see. But they just keep locking them up. Um, records obtained by WFTS 
So he had been issued more than a dozen previous citations. In this most recent case, Sanchez Mayan's attorney says his client was wrongfully detained when he was found sleeping in a vacant lot. And I want to say this about the multiple arrests. In the city of Atlanta and other cities, we have a new way to deal with crimes of survival, all right? If a person is trespassing, well, that's because they're trying to sleep somewhere. Uh, And if that's the reason, if homelessness is the reason, we would prefer to address the underlying issues that lead to this alleged criminal activity, all right? Which is minor compared to real crime happening in major cities. uh, So that we can get you the service and the wraparound um, support you need. That's a very simple approach to remedy the genesis of the problem. There's more. After placing Sanchez Mayan in the back of the van, the suit says Thacker drove the van, quote, in a reckless manner and at an unsafe rate of speed, end quote, and deliberately slammed on the brakes at a red light. The van surveillance video shows Sanchez Mayan being thrown off his seat, hitting his head, and that rendered him unconscious. Uh, Thacker drove all the way to the jail before stopping the van. I want you to understand this officer is well aware of what he's doing. He knows there's no seat belt. Okay, it's not as if he's not aware that there's a human being in the back um, of basically a tube. Okay, he knows this and he's still driving this way. There's more. Quote, they literally pulled him out by his ankles where his head could be seen bopping on the floor and bopping on the door and bopping on the bumper and ultimately on the pavement. Sanchez Mayan's attorney, Thomas Scholar told CNN, the lawsuit states that Thacker did not enable the van video at first, but he turned it on after he heard a loud crash in the back. The van camera's technology records 30 seconds before being turned on. Um, he told CNN. Sanchez Mayan was diagnosed with spinal cord injuries after the ride, leaving him paralyzed in all of his limbs, the suit explains. Doctors had to amputate both of his legs above the knee. His sister says he is now staying at a nursing home. His trespassing charge was dismissed because the area where Sanchez Mayan was sleeping did not have a no trespassing sign in the proper place. So they dismissed it, which means the officer is engaged in an unlawful arrest. Chief Anthony Holloway, here's the St. Petersburg PD. The department said in a statement, quote, the St. Petersburg Police Department denies the claims and trust in the judicial process. The department defers all media inquiries on pending litigation to the city of St. Petersburg City Attorney's Office. Um, obviously, AI wrote that. Buck stops with you, sir. Be a leader. Remember this soul that was taken? This case bears striking similarities to the 2015 death of Freddie Gray, who died after suffering spinal injuries while what? Riding in the back of a van, police van. Six officers were charged in connection with his death. None were convicted. And now you have the same cultural dynamic happening in another police department. Um, Mr. Sanchez Mayan could be dead too. Um, He survived it, but the man has no movement. He barely survived it. Sharon, thoughts here? He might as well be dead, Mm -hmm. that's the intent. He's living in a nursing home. Whatever money he does get, they will take it to care for him for the rest of his short life. It'll be a short life. This never stopped after Freddie Gray because until you charge criminally, and I understand they got off in the Freddie Gray case. And until you civilly take the money out of their pension, take it out of the police instead of the taxpayers. These two Karen cops saw a brown rodent. That is how they adjudicated Mr. Sanchez, not a human being as they put on their gloves because he was too filthy to touch. They're disgusting and they should be fired immediately for not following protocol. That's what they should do as she lectured. Hmm, Well, you've been told, where do you expect him to go? He's homeless, he's unhoused, they're idiots. 
Yep. And it wasn't even a proper arrest. There was the trespassing sign wasn't there. And that's required, as we know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right, we'll bring you updates as they come.